Hi viewers, I am Nadim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the Farooq Academy. Today we will discuss chapter number 4, book D2, exercise 4B. Simplifying the following functions. Now question number C. Please open your textbook and see question number 1. A square plus 2AC divided by 4A. Now what does that mean? It means we have to take common from the upper portion that is known as numerator and it is your denominator and after taking common then a can be cancelled suppose here is a you take common a so you will get a plus 2c divided by 4a so a can be cancelled with this so your result is a plus 2c divided by 4 so here is your result similarly in question number 3 dE divided by d square minus dE. So take the common. You can take common from the two terms. So d can be taken common. So here 1d minus e. So dD will be cancelled. So e divided by dE. d minus e is your result. Now coming to the question number 6 similar type of questions so we have to solve the tough questions 3 c minus 3 c plus 4 d divided by 6 c plus 8 d whole square so that will be equal to so we have to take common from this to cancel with this one so we see there 3c plus 4d c plus 8d so we have a little seam that it can be cancelled with this one if i take common how could we do this now this one taking common here i can take two common from this you will get 3c and plus 4d but the the square remain there so in further steps 3c plus 4d and this square is upon this one and this one also so you have to write separately 3c plus 4d after writing in a separate you will see that it can be cancelled with this one so after cancellation you will get here is 1 and there is c 3c plus 4d power 1 but no need to write and this is 2 to the 4 so here is your result now coming to the question number 8 you see here 3a plus 6b divided by 4ac plus 8bc ok take common 3a it can be taken common for example from above you can take common 3 so a plus 3 to the 6 and here you can take common 4 4 is present here and divisible and c c in both the terms are present so take common c also so you here have a plus 4 2 z 8 b which is a very much similar to this and cancel it so your result is 3 by 4 c now question number 10 you see here 8 a plus 4 b divided by b c plus 2 a c ok take common you can take common 4 that is 2a b and here you can take common c b plus 2a both are the positive so 2a plus b or b plus 2a both are positive so both are equal it will be cancelled with this one your result is 4 by c 
now coming to the question number 12 m square divided by m square minus mp so m square divided by so you take common m minus p so this m will be cancelled with the square one you have m m minus p so here is your result now coming to the question number 14 x square minus y square divided by x plus y whole square so the difference of two square formula we have discussed before earlier a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b so the difference of two square formula is equal to a plus b and a minus b so apply this formula here so you can write x plus y and x minus y you will get x plus y whole square so this plus will be cancelled with this one you will get x minus y at numerator and denominator is x plus y so here is your result now coming to the question number 16 p square minus p minus 6 divided by p minus 3 so you have here quadratic equation so you have to factorize this equation that is p square 3 2 that 6 3 2 that 6 3 2 that 6 and minus so it become positive so here you have factorize this equation that is you take common because here you have two pairs p p minus 3 and take common to p minus 3 p minus 3 the above term it will become like this p plus 2 because you take common p minus 3 and write in a first step and by joining these two you will get p minus 3 so here p minus 3 will be cancelled p plus 2 remain there that is your solution now coming to the next question that is your question number 3d minus 6 divided by d square d minus 6 again you have to take common 3 common d minus 2 and this is your quadratic equation factorize it but be again 3 2 that 6 3 2 that 6 3 2 that 6 Uh, by addition subtraction you will get plus 1 so it will be plus so you see here 3 into d minus 2 make the pair and take common d common so d plus 3 minus 2 d minus 3 it become positive so 3 into d minus 2 and again you take common d plus 3 and write down as d minus 2 so you see d minus 2 will be cancelled so here is 3 divided by d plus 3 is your required result now coming to the question number 18. we have to solve the next question that is your question number 20 a square plus a m minus a n minus m n divided by a square plus a m plus a n plus m n ok 1 2 3 4 here are 4 terms so make the pairs first pair second pair similarly again at numerator and denominator so take common here you can write a plus n and here you can take common that is n so you can a plus n again by the similar method you can take a common from here you will get a plus n and 
here you can take common name so here a plus m so similarly a plus m is common from the denom uh, numerator a minus m and a plus m is common in the denominator and write as as we have discussed so you will get a plus m so a plus m and a plus m will be cancelled because they cannot be cancelled because here is negative and positive so your result is a minus n divided by a plus n so here is your result now coming to the last question m square minus 9 divided by m square minus 7m plus 12 so difference of two square formula can be applied here a square minus 3 whole square so m square 4 3s are 12 4 3s are 12 4 3s are 12 because we have to make the factors of the denominator 4 3s are 12 and minus 7 minus 4 minus 3 minus 7 so it's okay here the difference of two formula apply a plus b here you know the difference of formula a minus b so apply here so one time positive and one time negative we have to write and here make the pairs and take common and for similarly m minus 4 so again the numerator can be written as same and denominator having one step remains so m minus 4 again taking common and write down m minus 3 so m minus 3 m minus 3 both are similar one will be cancelled with each other only you remain m plus 3 divided by m minus 4 so here is your result so my dear students we have completed exercise 4b and hope that this exercise will be learned by you in a very simple method thanks a lot thank you for watching